the deadliest human smuggling incident happened just a couple weeks or so ago in San Antonio when at least 51 migrants packed into the back of a tractor trailer were overcome by sweltering Texas heat and died. Victims were men, women, and teenagers from Mexico and Central America. They were all seeking a better life. Such a tragedy immediately evokes demand for action. For example, we might, well, most people will ask, who's responsible for this cruel, inhumane horror to begin with? Why aren't politicians addressing the issue of immigration? Wasn't the truck inspected at the border checkpoint? What's, what's it going to take to get control of our borders and end all this atrocity? These are all fair questions. But maybe our first concern as Christians should not be the legalities and public policies, but mercy. We have to first see these poor immigrants as our brothers and sisters. Now some might say, well, they were breaking the law, so they deserve what they got. No. Only a cold-hearted, fake Christian would say such a thing. It's mercy, not sacrifice. It's about blessing, not condemnation. It's compassion, not anger and blame. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, said we should pray not only for these brothers and sisters who died following their hope for a better life, but we should also pray for ourselves that the Lord might open our hearts so these misfortunes never happen again. God calls us to be a people of mercy, a people that sees the image of God in others, a people that offers sacrifice to our loving God by offering love and mercy, forgiveness and peace to one another. Franciscan Saint Bonaventure, whose feast we celebrate today, knew this truth. The truth that our God is a God of mercy. Bonaventure gifted the church with rich theological thought and writings. But as a humble servant, he held God's merciful grace above doctrine. And our prayerful size above intellect. My friends, our God is a God who desires tears and sighs more than the most brilliant theological theorems or doctrinal dissertations, and especially more than proper or external piety and rigid but heartless adherence to laws and rubrics. Jesus is clearly reminding us today to be careful about obsessing over rules and being devoid of mercy and understanding. Because our legalism, our legalistic mindset, can only lead to pride and arrogance, neither of which leads us to God. Thank you for joining us for this celebration of the Mass. This virtual Mass is broadcast to hundreds of people every day of the week. You know, over 100 years ago, the very first celebrations of the Mass took place on the second floor of the Glenview Public House. It's been inconceivable that 100 years later, we would be reaching so many people all over the world through this technology. If you'd like to support the ongoing broadcasts of OLPH's Masses, please go to our website, go to Give Central, and you'll be able to support the ongoing outreach of this virtual ministry. Thank you for your support. Most of all, thank you for joining us in prayer. Bye.